friends eight, is going home seven, early. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. All right, correction. Uh, yeah, the uh, so this is uh, this is run by Brian Boxel's dad, Glenn Boxel. That's right. Um, but uh, yeah, these robots built by the Boxels. And he's this obviously paying for a WPI education, so there's that. <laughs> right, I suppose. All right, it looks like these uh, two robots are stuck. We are going to pause this match to go in there and unstick them. We need to get the uh, special crowbar. The unsticking crowbar, Kyle. Yeah, the, uh, the safety bar, if you will. One of the things I found so interesting about this match is these bots were loading in. I noticed they just chucked the mini bot in. Yeah. Literally just like threw it across the arena. Yeah. So mini bots, uh, a few teams decide to run those. You get a little weight bonus for running a mini bot. Mini bots can serve several different purposes. You could have a mini bot that is a wedge. Uh, that the purpose of it is to get underneath of its opponent and hold it in place. You could have mini bots that are active weapon mini bots. Maybe they have a lifter on them. Maybe they have a flamethrower on them. Um, or in this particular case, this is what you would call a distraction mini bot. They don't really have an active weapon. They don't really have a wedge, but they do have big old foamy wheels, and they're going to get all up in your face and uh, hopefully distract you from your opponent. But really what you're counting on them for is that weight bonus. Yeah, you always love to have a little bit of extra weight inside of the box. That's right. All right, we're going to restart this match here, and it is back on. 20 seconds Whoa. in, uh, we had to unstick these two robots, and it looks like the right side armor uh, on those two brand new blue wheels on Silk is looking tired, ripped away in the first 20 seconds of this match. Oh, and that armor, he's high centered himself there. Christian Cooper now driving on top of the armor. Incredible. That armor is now impeding Silk, like th flinging itself right in front of the weapon. It looks like Silk has lost one of its wheels. It is down to three wheels now. And you can see Silk is trying to get that piece off. Uh, it's just flailing it about, trying to knock it into its own weapon and hopefully rip it off because right now it is just a big old impedance. Now it looks like I see a some kind of belt that's hanging off the right side of Silk. Do you yeah, think that's that is the drive belt. That's the drive belt for that back wheel that is now missing. There's just no hub left to hold that belt on anymore, so it is gone. Oh no! And that is smoke coming from the weapon motor on Silk. Oh wow! Something hot and burning fell off of Silk. I think that might be burning plastic, Kyle. I think you might be right. And the, uh, the front wedge on Silk is tired. The, the wheel just went flying there inside of the box. Oh, this is, this is, this is graphic, Kyle. Yeah, that's just a very sad looking Silk at this point. And it looks like Caldera's just giving him space. Yeah, Caldera giving him space to kind of work out whatever Silk needs to work out. 45 seconds left here. Loser's bracket round three. It looks like Christian Cooper could be uh, could be taking a look at his very last match of uh, of the year with Silk. And there you see Brett giving a very uh, enthusiastic attempt at unstick. Yeah, at this point it can't hurt, Kyle. Uh, it probably could. It's a pretty heavy bot. Twenty seconds left. Well, this is a very active Bert. And we're getting down to the last 10 seconds of this match. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the end of this match. Weapons Ooh. off. Make your way to the door if you can. If not, don't worry. Brett will help you. A little round of applause there for Christian Cooper and Silk. I think this one will be a pretty fast judge's decision. What do you think? Kyle? Yeah, I, I think you might be right about that. That was a pretty rough match for him. All the way around. All right, as the judges deliberate. Ooh, Hot Leaf Juice, still the winner. Love it. They're winning in the three-pound division too, why not? 
yeah, Hot Leaf Juice won this fight too. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm on them. Caldera, right. Caldera, Hot Leaf Juice, I mean Caldera. All right. We've got three votes for Caldera. Unanimous judge's decision. Thank you very much, judges. Appreciate you guys. Uh, you know, 